So my technology is related to the, uh, it is basically MRI contrast agent. We already know that what is MRI contrast agents. MRI, it is a very uh, useful techniques for medical diagnosis. And MRI, are, MRI is now becoming very popular for this medical diagnosis purpose. But uh, there are some issues with the available MRI contrast agents. So uh, normally uh, in market, if you see, there are basically MRI contrast agents which are manganese and gadolinium based, which are T1 contrast agent, means which increases the brightness, the uh, whiteness of a MRI image. If you see that image, uh, if you use MRI contrast agent to, uh, for producing the image, it gives some white, whiteness or darkness. Without contrast agent, this, there is a less contrast in the imaging. So uh, when there are some difficulties with manganese and gadolinium based contrast agent because those are toxic and they have some uh, uh, drawbacks in uh, in vivo use. So people are now shifting towards the T2 contrast agent. T2 contrast agents are basically, uh, it increases the dark contrast. Okay, so and uh, T2 contrast agents are norm normally iron oxide based contrast agents which are spy on uh, super paramagnetic iron oxide nanoparticles are normally used T2 contrast agent and these super paramagnetic nanoparticles are they have some uh, interesting properties because if you apply magnetic field they show magnetic properties but if you reduce the if you remove the magnetic field they will disappear there will be no, no magnetic properties and because of this uh, people are using these super paramagnetic iron oxide nanoparticles as a T2 MRI contrast agents. But this, if you, if you, we have to have super paramagnetic um, property, then we have to compromise with the magnetization. And super paramagnetic pa particles are very fine particles because of that, these are having high Brownian motion. So these are some uh, things we have to compromise if you use super paramagnetic iron oxide nanoparticles. So there is a solution if you, uh, what are the options to overcome these issues? If you make some cluster of magnetic nanoparticles, and this cluster should have also super paramagnetic properties. So people are now doing, uh, uh, this researcher are now doing clustering of nanoparticles, and other options are obviously functionalization of nanoparticles, magnetic nanoparticles, with some suitable functional molecules, which also increase the contrast efficiency. But the second option, clustering is very fruitful. So our research is basically to develop a dense cluster of magnetic nanoparticles. If you see in whatever the patents or uh, papers uh, or the materials are there, they are not very dense clusters. If you make the dense clusters, it gives more contrast efficiency to the cluster space uh, magnetic nanoparticles. So our research is basically to develop a dense cluster of iron oxide nanoparticles from starting with iron oxide nanoparticles. We have used some biocompatible host material which are of submicron size silica spheres and these silica spheres are biocompatible and they are entrapping the particles inside those pores. Our novelty is the developing a dense assembly of magnetic nanoparticles by efficiently entrapping the magnetic nanoparticles inside these silica beads. And during this process, nanoparticles are also shifted to from hydrophobic initial phase to hydrophilic phase because hydrophilicity is the requirement for bio biomedical application. So this is our main, uh, uh, main novelty of our um, invention. And, and this uh, product what we have developed, if you, uh, we have seen that this is cost, if you see, per uh, 500 mg, it is around 200 rupees. And our technology is at TRL level 4 and we have uh, applied patent for this technology and it is, uh, we have submitted the FER reply for this patent and it is going to be, uh, hopefully going to be patented soon. So these are some images, we have done some in vitro images of contrast efficiency, efficiency for measurement. We have seen that after clustering through our process, MRI contrast relaxivity has improved two times from the starting with the pristine nanoparticles. So these are some phantom images we have taken. We have done the uh, biocompatibility assay also for our samples using these cell lines. And these are another system which is iron platinum nanoparticles also. We have done some in vivo analysis for this MRI contrast agent. And uh, if you see the uh, market, addressable uh, market of MRI it is expanding very rapidly. 
and uh, in india also it is expanding because people are uh, now interested in developing indigenous mri machine in india but still we are lacking of good mri contrast agents still mri contrast agents whatever there it these are imported from outside so uh, we hope our technology will be indigenously develop mri contrast agents so for commercialization uh, transfer of technology we have to follow the uh, ipr uh, ipr uh, agreement of tespo university if anybody is interested in our technology and definitely we need to scale up our technology for this we need in the help of industries to uh, scale up the technology uh, scale up the uh, the amount of contrast agents because we have done this thing in laboratory scale only right now so these are some uh, right now from tier level 4 to 9 we we may require around 6 to 12 months and we need funds for this uh, collab for this uh, to achieve that thing and these are some equipments we we normally use in our laboratory if we have to if anyone interested to develop this material this minimum uh, infrastructure is required uh, thank you